Let's take a minute and reflect back to our incredible trip to South Africa. It goes without saying, but a trip to Africa with your entire family doesn't just happen overnight. It's kind of like painting a wall. The more prep you do, the better the outcome. About a month before the trip, we all met up to get the final paperwork in order. Gun declaration, insurance, and a quick trip to LAX was well worth the effort. In what seemed like a blink of an eye, we were back at LAX, about to start our adventure all the way to South Africa. Our first milestone is from LA to Atlanta. And in five hours time, boom, we hit the ground and we're ready to eat. And I knew I was traveling with the right bunch when they said, you guys want some sushi? Oh, it's gonna be a good trip. Well fed and mentally prepared for the next stint of our trip, Atlanta to Johannesburg, for 14 hours, let's get it done. Welcome to Johannesburg. <laughs> <laughs> After landing in Johannesburg and grabbing our bags, we meet up with Gracie Travel who helps escort us through customs, getting our rifles through the police station and navigating through the airport. This was some of the best money spent on the trip, bar none. That evening, we did an overnight at the City Lodge Hotel in Johannesburg. We got a few minutes to get cleaned up and we were off for another fantastic meal at the Quills restaurant. No pun intended, the food and the decor in this restaurant was on point. Beautifully adorned with porcupine quills, they didn't miss a detail. The menu was full of exotic dishes to which we tried Bill Tongue Dusted Wilderbeast ostrich hearts, and exotic fruit salads. Well fed, extremely happy, and extremely tired, we head back to the hotel for a good night's sleep. Early the next morning, we enjoy a beautiful breakfast at the City Lodge Hotel. Then shortly after, Gracie Travel comes and grabs us and our bags, escorts us through the airport on the way to Port Elizabeth. On the ground after our last flight, we're gathering up our gear. We've met with our professional hunter. We're gonna grab a bite to eat right on the coastline and then we're gonna head into Blaucrans. We finally make it, we get a glimpse into our home for the next seven days.
lodge was perfect. It was comfortable, warm, and safe. Everything we needed was right there. It felt like home the very minute we arrived. We're going to grab the guns, head to the shooting range, make sure everything is zeroed just right, because we start hunting in the morning. With the gun shooting well, we're going to head back into the lodge, enjoy a few hors d'oeuvres and some drinks, and just settle in for the night. Tomorrow's the big day. Kudu lasagna, salad, vegetables. Ah, man, we're in a good spot. The anticipation of the first morning is amongst us. We separate in three vehicles. I'm riding with Bob and Ron and Francois Redmond. And our goal today is to find us a nice Inyala bull. And with a stroke of good fortune, we find one about an hour into the hunt. Watch close, it happens quick. Yeah, that's when you saw him. Now he is walking back, he's going back to that bush. <laughs> Gotta be ready. <laughs> that's not to that congratulate me too soon. Let's make sure I kill no, him. I think Jeffrey said they, he saw dust there. But I mean, that was, uh, I knew they were going to start walking back to the stick bush, they're lying the stick bush during the day. Oh, wow. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Right there. Yep. Going in, yep. Those yeah. are gorgeous. Very nice white tip. Huh? Sure. How old do you think? Look at his teeth here. Now he's worn. Look at those teeth. He must be eight years old. Look at it. Oh, he yeah, got, got a good mature one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I to see his age when they get older too. They get that grayer yep. hair on him. Oh, man. Look at all this grayish hair here. Is that a gorgeous animal or Dude, what? That is the point is that they're not the wildest in the sense that they're not just, just going to run when they yeah, see anything. But they're hard to find. But they're hard to find. They're very Unbelievable. secretive. Unbelievable. Yeah. Amen to that. Doesn't get so. better than that. Africa 2016. Congrats, Bob. Nice way to start. Feeling a bit overwhelmed with our early success in South Africa, we load up that Inyala bull and head off in pursuit of the next animal. For me, so much of the hunt is learning a new environment, where to look, what to look for. All the animals, colors, shapes, sizes are just a little different than what we experience here in North America. So retraining yourself and retraining your eyes is very, very enjoyable. One of the main forage foods in South Africa is speckboom. It's a succulent, and Francois had made a point to say that when they're looking at land, they can tell how many animals are there by the amount of speck boom that's been eaten down. Heading back to the lodge, we take a minute and visit with one of our tracker's sons who had been seeing a warthog near his backyard. There's nothing like that local knowledge. Dropping off the Inyala back at the lodge to get cleaned up, 
there was a great big celebration going on. The boys had taken an impala, a wildebeest. There was a couple of kudus harvested. Just a great day to be in camp. As the sun started to set, we found ourselves back around the dinner table telling stories and enjoying our very first day of hunting in South Africa. Day two, let's go find us a big eland bull. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Very nice. We picked the right one. Yeah. Real happy. Really happy. I yeah, love the twitch. Great shot, Bob. Congrats on a gorgeous Elan bull. The Eland is referred to as the Tic Taxi. As you can see here from these clips showing all the heart water ticks living in and around the leg areas of this bull. Oh, I want to itch his legs for him. Unbelievable. Bob, you did him a favor. So we're going to get him gutted, load him in the truck, and head back to the house. Have us a big old lunch. We got a whole bunch more hunting to do this evening. Here's another quick look at the size of an elon, the world's largest antelope, with this one checking in right around 1,200 pounds. The evening hunts of day two are underway. I split up with Bob and Ron and head out with the boys, and Ron grabs a camera and sits with Bob in hopes that a big kudu bull steps out. I see how easy it is to fall in love with a big spiral horn kudu. Bob, Ron, and Francois are in the perfect position they're just waiting for the kudu to turn and give them a good shot. It's really wide, Paul. Yeah, and I like looks of that. He's got, <laughs> yeah. he's not really deep, but he's very wide. Super very wide. Impressive. Yeah. I don't know that, Paul. Oh, a good one. Unsure of the exact shot placement, Francois said, let's go get the dog and get him on the blood trail in that thick cactus. After a short while, the dog had the kudu bait, and here's how it went. Dog. I want to get that dog a bone. <laughs> We're hunting bongo. Yeah, bongo. In the yeah. Central African Republic. Safety. Safety dog. Good. I think he's done. <laughs> oh, 375 went through the brush. Yeah, it does, baby. Dude, that was exciting. <laughs> Way to finish. Dude, that was the most. Unbelievable. I can tell you now that that thing wasn't, it was shot through the leg, yeah, but it wasn't, wasn't mortal, was it? Uh, I think, you know, you don't know that it's. Whew. I do not believe. Look how long he ran. Far. I know. These guys got me on that freaking. That's like hunting bongo, man. Holy mackerel. Okay, we're doing bongo next. Yeah. 
Anything that is very thorny. Yeah. It's right, come on, yeah. Ooh, baby, that was crazy. Hide right behind you, Bob. Oops, watch. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, Beautiful boat. Nice. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Toki. Well, could you down. Man, it is hard to beat an exciting and happy ending. Well done, Bob. Meanwhile, in South Africa, there was still a ton of hunting going on. First things first, we're going to see if we can find Paul, a shooter in Paula. Oh, one and done Paul, just putting the hammer down on a beautiful Impala Ram. We're going to get it set up, take a few pictures, enjoy the moment, and then head on out and see if we can't get Tim on a blessed buck or a wildebeest tonight. Impala Salon. Yeah, I know. We've got a brush, and Jeffrey's got a brush for the bush pigs too. When we get pictures of the bush pigs, we, you know. I always notice your pigs look all brushed in. Yeah, we have brush them down. Yeah, the hair's all scruffy. They've got such long hair, you know. Yeah. In classic Africa style, load him up and keep going. The hunt never quits. So we see some wildebeest off in the distance that look like a great setup to get in and stalk. As we get closer, we don't see the one we're looking for. So as we're moving around, we stop the truck and a small group of blessed bucks show up right in front. We step out, identify the one we want, and Tim levels off and smokes a beautiful blessed buck. Congratulations there, Tim. Day two. South Africa. Day three, I got to do a little hunting first thing in the morning. Spider down. Day three, one and done, Paul and I got paired up and we headed out to see if we could find a quick early morning diker. We found a female feeding in a little clearing and we just couldn't get the ram to show himself, so we headed off in search of some warthogs. Oh! Shot. Get it. <laughs> Good shot. Thank you. Good job, that whistle, about yeah. 180 yards. Smoked him. <laughs> Couldn't uh, yeah. wish for a better shot, so. You see the, the boars have, have these mm. big warts. Warts. And, and um, you know, when they fight with each other, they, they're kind of ramming each other's heads against each other, other like mm -hmm. that. So, so these things are kind of to protect the eyes, you know, just to protect the head. Mm. 
as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's well. It's, it's kind of like cartilage, mm -hmm. you know. So when they get really old, then these things also just shrink away, disappear. Gotcha. You know, it's like you say your your feral pigs have, have cartilage here on the shoulders. Yeah. These ones, I think they build it up here on their on their heads. All for their face. Yeah. Very hard. And the head. difference too, our um, our cutter is larger, and their witter, what we call a witter or yeah. an upper, is much shorter. Yeah. And it's the opposite on these. Feed, more for feeding, feeding and see how it, every time that opens and closes that sharpens on that thing yeah just their hair is so oh man it's funny wild looking huh yeah as we sat there touching feeling this warthog getting our head around this just unique critter we look up to our right and there's another boar standing in the willows and early says you want to shoot that one and for those of you that know me you would know that's a silly question i turn the camera grab the gun and I got to do a little shooting. Africa. I think they invented the whack and stack. And I love this place. There is a common theme to this video if you haven't figured it out. Meanwhile, in Africa, when Paul and I were doing our own, Bob was out looking for a big old tusker of his own. Ron's got the camera, he's right over Bob's shoulder, and they find a bruiser of a warthog. Check it out. <laughs> my man. Uh, there you go. You got me, my boy, man. You, my man. That's it, man. That Jeffrey. was all Jeffrey. Oh, that baby. All Jeffrey all the all time, Jeffrey, baby. All day long. All day long. Yeah. Thanks. Setting That's the good. standard That's a little good. high, man. Yeah. Really Dude. awesome hunting with you. Can't get over it. No, you just take your time. And just when you think, oh, you know, the hunt's coming to an end, and I had my chance on a big one, yeah. I get another chance. Uh, a big one. <laughs> nice. nice. Came back to find a couple of pigs. Top. Oh, Ryan got one. Like Ryan, Ryan got one. Looks like Ryan shot. Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Man, we did some damage on the pigs today. Yeah. That thing is aiming for this thing. Yeah, it's aiming at us. It's recording us. It's recording our conversation. Is it on? Yeah, let me check. Yeah, it's on. Is it taking a picture of us? Do you have a favorite animal? Yeah. What? Kudu. Kudu? Yeah. That's everybody's favorite. It's always fun having a conversation with little Ollie. So we had pre-planned to take a trip to Addo National Park and see the elephants and whatever else was running around. So we took a little gap from the hunt, headed on out, and had ourselves a big old time. How are you today? Good, good. Good, may I see the permit too? Thank you, have a wonderful day. Thank you.
day three wound up being a great family day at the park. Three warthogs and Thomas took a beautiful blue wildebeest. Day five, first thing in the morning, Tim and I are paired up and headed out to find a bush buck. With a bunch of rain the night before, conditions are perfect. A few miles into our drive, Jeffrey, with his legendary tracker eyes, spots a bush buck just up off the road. We pull over, get our stuff, and head off into position. A cool critter. Yeah. Ah, he's an old one too. See, he's lost a little shot. He's losing a bit of color there already. It's not as dark as he used to be. Nice ram. Second one I've seen. Yeah, you don't see much of him. We're lucky we got him. But it's a beautiful morning for bushbuck. That's why. Yeah. With the um, you know, with this bit of rain last night, they'll be out kind of standing in the sun and. Using a little bit of condition too, yeah. yeah. So what you want in the bushbuck is, you know, for those tips to come forward. When they're young, they kind of point inwards. Mm -hmm. What you want is to make that full kind of twist. Mm -hmm. He's nice, beautiful. Uh, all is very sharp. These tips, they they kill a lot of dogs every year. People hunt a lot of these bushbuck with dogs, and uh, you know the dogs bay them and then they shoot them and they they, they, they kill the dogs. Yeah. And, and they're not an animal that'll just jump away and run. You know they'll kind of stand around. Yeah. And they give you a bit of time and that. They're, they're not real wary, huh? Uh, <coughs> no, they, they they their defense is like a nyala too. Will be just to stand. Hold dead still. still. You know yeah. they just kind of. So uh, you know it gives you a bit of time and that. Not always, but most times. Not like a gemsbuck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, that is a good start. Great start. Very good. That is one rad little animal and a great start to the day. Hang in there. Tim's got a checklist you won't believe. Taking full advantage of a beautiful morning, we are in search of a daytime diker. So we grab our gear and head off on a big long walk.
90 yards. 90. So uh, the other day we saw a male and a female together. Are they? Yeah, they normally pair up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not always. A lot of times you'll get a male on this island, but um, a lot of times if you do see a female, you just got to look carefully around her and you could find the male, and that's exactly what happened there. The male was. Uh -huh. Three and a half is big. Three and a half is big. Three inches, even three and a quarter. Stuck right through the body. Yeah, it's sitting right at the. Is the, that something? There it is. That's the best trophy. Bonzex. Bonzex bullet went right through the diker. Why Tim is checking off his to do list, Paul and Erdley are hunting a blessed buck. Ron's got the camera, let's take a look. It's always crazy. Good shot, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Nice. Yeah. Just behind. Uh, you hit the lungs. Anyway. Yeah. Congrats, right. man. Thanks. Good shooting. Thanks, Very good. Very nice place back. Very man. nice. Yeah, yeah big ones. have also got horns. But uh, yeah. bucks have got um, a lot of heavier horns and they've got these kind of white rings around them. The females are more black. And. Yeah. Uh, Bucks, the rings are more distinct on a buck. Bless, this is where the name comes from. Bless means bald, bald buck. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got this white patch on it, on the head, so. They have the grass plant. Yeah, those are not the territory. Well, this was a bachelor herd of all bucks together. Oh, they were all males? They all ran, yeah, but this was the biggest one. Okay. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a scent plant. Day five, we wrap up with one beautiful bush buck, a diker. Thomas killed the biggest warthog of the trip and a beautiful blessed buck from Paul.